Hi everybody. I felt like this deck had a specific message for a few of you. Um, I haven't actually used this deck in a long time, but I'm gonna, you know, I felt drawn to use it, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull some cards and see what they have to say. Um, this deck I did not make. Most of the decks I use on my channel I make, and you can purchase them from me. This one I did not make. This is called the Terra de la Nut. Um, it's D-E and then L-A N-U-I-T um, and you can purchase that on Amazon I believe. It's a beautiful deck, not mine though. Okay, let's see what it has to say though. What do the cards have to say? What's the message here? I just wanted to talk to you guys. Alright, what's going on? This is my favorite tarot deck. I usually use oracle cards just because they're easier, but as far as tarot decks go, this one's absolutely beautiful. It's good you got the Four of Swords reversed. That's that's a good sign that you're coming out of that energy. Got the Devil there, though. Hmm. Got the Hanged Man. Okay, so more energy that you're coming out of, I feel. So we got the Three of Cups there, too. And we got the Five of Pentacles reversed. So coming out of poverty, coming out of... Um, some kind of stagnant energy, some kind of poverty, some kind of negativity. Maybe you're asking to right now, maybe you're wondering like, is this ever going to get better for me? And your guides wanted to come through and say, yes, things are getting better. There is progress, even if it's hard to see it right now. You've got, just in case you can't see those all, oops, sorry. I didn't realize how crooked that was. Oh, this camera is finicky. Okay, so we got Three of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords Reversed, the Devil, the Hanged Man, the Five of Pentacles, the, ooh, High Priestess is a good end, Five of Pentacles Reversed, uh, King of Cups, Nine of Cups, Five of Cups, the High Priestess. Okay, so I'm looking at these cards, and the message here I'm getting is somebody who has overworked themselves. You've been so focused on your goals that you either have had a breakdown in the recent past or you're you're going towards a breakdown um and this this reading is not going to be for everybody so there's going to be subscribers that i have on here that you know the zodiac readings that your specific zodiac sign is your story that's what's going to resonate with you and this one might not so just keep that in mind this is just for you know, who this resonates for. It's, it's, if it's not resonating, it means it's not your story. You know, there will be other stories that I'll be posting that might be your story, but this is for, um, a few select people. This is a message that wanted to come through. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But the energy I get is, is someone, so you're coming out of poverty. This is a good thing. You've been working really hard towards your goals. Um, I feel like you're very independent, but I feel like your independence has almost become a self de a self defense mechanism at this point. It's like you're so independent, but you're in survival mode and you are out of balance. It's like you you don't. It's all work and no play. Like you haven't been able to have fun or relax or rest or heal. You are just in this um, limited perspective right now of just surviving, of just like tunnel vision, just getting towards your goal, which is, it's, it's wonderful that you have that, um, that strength and that dedication to whatever this is you're trying to do. I'm guessing this is something tied to finances. And I feel like you might actually have a man here coming in that's going to, or a woman, could be either way, you know, because I have male viewers too. It could be male, male, female, 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 male, male, female, whatever the story is. But you have a person here, I'm guessing for most of you it's probably a man, that's that's coming in here and they're going to help you. They're going to offer you some kind of financial stability. 
They, they, they might not necessarily be giving you money, but they might just be giving you the emotional support that you need to continue to fulfill your goals. Um, or this could be like a living situation, like maybe it's going to progress into a living situation so you're not having to pay rent by yourself. You know, that sort of thing. There's something connected to, to finances here where I think this this King of Cups is someone who's very stable, who has it together. Some This man is coming in and I think it's, it's gonna help you financially somehow too however that may be. But but yeah, the energy I get is just, it's like you, you're you celebrating here. You're wanting to celebrate and you're, you're persevering. You're, you're patient. You're focused on your goals. You're, you're trying to get there. But I think that you've been so patient and you've been waiting so long for something to come in. And this could be money. This could be career this could be love you've been waiting for so long for something to come in that you're starting to get into this double energy where you're just starting to kind of break down you're you're so tired of not seeing it manifest you're so tired of of just this it's like a merry-go-round like just a constant you know on this hamster wheel you know work 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 it's like you're you're just working so hard towards something and you're you're kind of becoming almost numb um I actually see this I originally thought it was a good thing that it's that it's reversed but I think actually what it's telling me is that you're not resting because as exhausted as she looks like at least at least here she's allowing herself to break down she's allowing he or she they're allowing themselves to to rest to break down to heal to not carry the weight of the world on their shoulders anymore to give up that stubborn independence and just you know, let divine timing take play to just let things happen naturally. It's like someone who's just, they're allowing themselves the emotion. They're allowing themselves that, that rest, that healing energy, that vulnerability. They're, they're taking the weight off their shoulders, but reversed. I take it as you're not allowing that. You're not allowing the rest, the healing. You're, you're just trying to get to this goal. You're trying to be patient and you, you've been so out of balance um, working so hard and, and doing it all on your own too. Like, I think this is the energy of someone who feels very alone, someone who's really, um, worked hard for everything they have. And, and you're just kind of getting to that point where you're questioning the universe. Like, what is it all for? You know, like I, I need my rewards now. I need to know that I'm doing this for something. I need to know, could be someone going to school and you're like, I need to see physical evidence that this is worth it. I need to, you know what I mean? Like you're not allowing yourself to rest. You're just trying to be patient, but you're human. And the thing is that you've either just gotten into this double energy or you're headed for this double energy because of the lack of balance. Now, it doesn't mean that you should give up on your goals. I'm totally not saying that, but you can't, let's say that your goals are to save for a house. You can't work 60 hours a week. And, and not ever go out and have fun and not ever um, live your life. You know what I mean? Like you have to have that balance. Like you can work hard, but you have to have some fun too. You have to have some time to, to do the things that you love doing. You have to have some time to just catch your breath, to, to, to heal, to do what makes you happy. Otherwise, your life is just going to feel pointless. And you're, you're draining yourself. It's like you're giving more and more and more. And this could be someone who's stuck in like a stagnant nine to five job. And I know that's hard with capitalism. It's, it's difficult because it's like, what are you going to do? You have to pay rent. You have to, you know what I mean? So it's like sometimes people just can't rest, but, but it's, you know, your guides, this energy is calling for that. It's, it's saying you can't, you can't take on all this weight anymore. You could be carrying other people's burdens as well. You could be doing it all. This could be somebody who's like, um, couple of you might be like a single mother or a single father. Um, some There's like kind of that energy too, where it's like people are relying on you. People are looking up to you. Like you just feel like you can't break in front of them. Like you have to be strong all the time. There's just that sort of energy of just having to be strong, having to survive, having to be logical, having to, you know, be patient, go, go, go. And, um, and yeah, you're getting into this devil energy because it's it's like you're human and eventually you are going to exhaust yourself where if you're not resting and you're not slowing down a bit, um, you're going to cause yourself mental health problems most likely, you know, anxiety, depression, who knows. 
And again, you know, disclaim, disclaimer here, I'm not a psychiatrist. I cannot diagnose you with anything um, that's that's between you and your therapist. I, I'm not, I'm going to put that disclaimer out there that I am not ever going to try to diagnose anyone with anything. I'm just saying that there's that energy here for the potential for, for something like that. But I don't know what that would be. Um, but it's, it's like, yeah, it's like if you don't rest, the universe is going to force you to rest and your body is going to force you to rest. Your body is probably, if this is your reading, your body is probably screaming at you to, to drink some water, to eat healthy, to, to, to go for a nice walk on the beach or in the woods, to, to do something fun again, to go out dancing. If you will, if you, I guess you can't because of COVID, but you know what I mean? Like you're, you're your your energy your soul your body is just screaming for you to to do something that's just for you just good for you not about whoever's relying on you not about anything else just something that's good for you because there's just this energy of you trying to meet certain goals and it's like you feel like you can't rest like you have to just be strong all the time and so so yeah what I see here I guess it's like a warning for somebody is that you're going to come into this devil energy and the devil is is addiction. It is um, self sabotage. It is kind of saying, "Screw everything. I can't do all this anymore. I can't handle this energy." And it's like that's what happens to your body and your mind when you're out of balance. If you're if you're go if you're this independent, if you're just going, 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 and you're not allowing yourself to, you're not finding time for fun and rest and healing and just things that are just nourishing and good for you. Um, then, then you end up in this devil energy where you break down. You, you are going to have a breakdown if you keep going on like this. And that devil energy is just, it's like this screw it kind of energy. I'm going to like you, you get, you start being someone that you're not like, you just start not caring about anything. You start detaching, you start, um, it's just, it's a, it's an energy of, of addiction and self-sabotage and just completely breaking down. And I almost see it like a tower moment in this particular reading here. I kind of feel like that energy would lead you eventually to the hanged man where you would be forced to let go, to stop trying to control everything, to, um, to, you know, having this, this new perspective to, um, cause the hangman, that's about, that's about an, that's like a, an energy shift. It's like a perspective shift. And it makes sense that maybe, maybe all this pressure, all this heavy energy, maybe it's like the devil is going to come in and it's like, just to release it. Even if it's in a toxic way, it's like, it's all just coming out. Even if it's coming out in a really, it's like what you suppress is going to come out sooner or later in uglier ways. And that's kind of what's going on in this reading is it's like, you've been trying to just be strong and you're going to break down. You're going to break down, you know, just because you need that balance. And again, like I said, you can keep trying to meet that goal, but you have to do things that are good for you, too. You have to have fun. Also, you have to remind you have to have those reminders that make life worth living. You know what I mean? Otherwise, it's like you're not going to it's like all the passion is being taken out of your goal. You know what I mean? It's like you're just kind of doing it to do it now. It's like you want it, but it's like something that you're, you're just it's like this energy of just exhaustion. Um, but yeah, the hangman, I feel like that would come after the devil is like, you have this like clearing, almost like a tower moment, like a breakdown process. And then you got the hangman coming in that kind of offers you this new perspective where it's like your guide saying, you know what, you've got to let go of control issues. You have to step into this new perspective. You have to, it's like you get into this mentality of letting things flow to you naturally. And it's almost like with this energy, you're almost blocking yourself from reaching your goals to some extent. I'm not saying you're not making progress, but it's like this new perspective, it's actually what's going to get you to the high priestess energy. This woman who is just in tune with the energy of abundance, with manifestation, the world is her, his or her oyster. Um, you know, he or she can manifest what they want. They're just in this high vibration of just love and abundance and good energy. And that's what's going to get you to the high priestess energy. You know, this energy is just kind of, it's almost blocking you because it's like you have control issues with this, I think. It's like you have goals, but you have a certain way in your mind that you have to meet those goals. Like, 
I want to buy a house, but I have to take out a traditional loan and I have to do it through this specific bank and it has to be in this specific area. Whereas if you let go and you let the universe start working for you, you might have an abundance of money come in from somewhere else or you might find a manufactured house or something else that you didn't think of. You know what I mean? Because you're kind of, it's kind of like tunnel vision where you're just set on it's going to be this specific way. I'm only, there's only one path to my goal. And one of the secrets of the law of attraction is, you know, putting that intention into the universe of what you want, be it money, be it love, but, you know, allowing the universe to bring that into you in its own way. So like, if you ask for money, don't say, okay, this is going to be from my job, or this is going to be from this, just be open to receiving, just, you know, just know that that money is coming in. Just get into that energy. It's it's like you might not know where it's coming from. Same with love. If you're asking for true love, recognize that that true love might not be your ex. It might be somebody new. Just open yourself up to that high vibration of love and the universe is going to bring the right person that's in alignment with that. You know, sometimes there is things that have to be cleared out. I'm not saying it's always that simple, but I'm just saying having that tunnel vision like, oh, I'm going to meet this goal and I'm going to, you know, meet this financial goal or whatever goal it is you're trying to meet. It's like you're trying to do it just a specific way. You're not allowing any outside interference. You're not allowing for any other, you know, possible ways to come in that that might actually get you to a goal faster. And so those control issues, that stubbornness, that that stubborn independence that you have is going to lead you to a breakdown. And that breakdown, as dark as it might be, will ultimately, I see, lead you to you know, being forced to let go of this stubborn energy, being forced to let go of the control issues and stepping into this new, new perspective where you're just kind of in tune with abundance and you just let things flow to you more naturally. It's like you're blocking your own abundance right now. You're blocking things from flowing to you naturally because you're being so stubborn about how it's going to manifest. Um, there is another warning here too. There is another warning here as well. So, so with this, with this new perspective, again, what you're doing now isn't working. At least if this is your reading and you'll know, because it's all going to resonate if this is your reading. So if this is, if this is resonating with you, then it's saying this isn't going to work. This is just going to, this is just going to put you in devil energy. This is just going to lead you to a breakdown. You have to be open to other perspectives. You have to be open to other ways of thinking and feeling and being. You have to get back in touch with that spiritual energy of the universe of just, you know, letting things flow and just accepting that you you don't know everything, that you don't know, you can't control everything. There's a lot that you can't control. So this new perspective is actually going to lead you to the to five of pentacles reversed. So you know, that's, that's really good. It's, yeah, it's like, you just need rest, <laughs> but, but okay. So this is five of pentacles upright would be like poverty, um, isolation, like loneliness, loss, uh, just going through it, just a lot of trauma and reversed. It's like you're with this new perspective, it's bringing you out of this. So it's like you get into this new perspective and then you start manifesting money and abundance and the things that you want in ways that you never imagined you could. You know what I mean? It's almost like this path that you're on isn't working, but you can still get to the same goal, but you need to change the path. You need to change the way that you get there. Does that make sense? Um, so anyway, so yeah, coming out of poverty, it's really good. Coming out of whatever this energy is, the five of pentacles, you're, you're with the new perspective, you're coming out of it. There is another warning here that you might meet a king of cups and you might be so stuck in this stubborn, independent energy that you play games and then they end up leaving. I mean, that's how I see it, at least. Maybe you guys, some, some of you might see this in a different light, you know, for those of you that read tarot, some of you might might see this as a different message. Um, I see it as as someone coming in that's kind of helping you with the financial stability, someone who's who's loving, who's kind, who's loyal, who maybe seems too good to be true and you're so used to surviving and being independent and having to do it all on your own that when this comes in it's like you feel like it's too good to be true so you sabotage it and you play these games like with the nine of cups which i'm i intuitively read each card so i'm going off of of the energy here i'm going off of look like look at her she's looking away from this frog she's playing games she's playing she's trying to be all cutesy and play hard to get 
she he or she is trying is playing these games. It's like you have true love right in front of you. You have someone stable and loyal and you don't trust it. You just, you don't, you don't trust it. You're so used to having to do everything on your own that you're like, why would this man want to, why would this man or why would this woman want to come in and, and be my, you know, part of a power couple or be my other half? Why would it be that easy? And, and so it's like, you kind of maybe don't text back right away or you just distance yourself or you just sabotage, just question it. Like you're not sure about it. And then that ship sails. Because I'll tell you, if you find an alpha male or female or alpha female, whatever your story is. And let me let me say this too. When I say alpha males, I am not talking about scared, insecure little boys pretending to be alpha males. There are a lot of those out there. Little macho wannabe alpha males out there. There's There's a lot of those out there. But they're, when it comes down to it, they're scared and they've got commitment issues. No, I'm talking about a real alpha male. I'm talking about somebody who's strong and kind and loyal and loving. They know who they are. They know what they want. They have the life experience. They're ready to step up and be your equal. That is what I'm talking about when I say alpha male or alpha female. Like someone who really has it together. Not someone who's pretentious and shallow and trying to be all macho and competing with everybody and that's that's all insecurity like men that do that if you go to like a bar or club with your man or some with a guy like that and he's competing with everybody and glaring at everybody that is not an alpha male okay that is a jealous insecure little boy a real alpha male will go out dancing with you and watch you do your thing and they're they're not going to get jealous because they know who they are they are know what they want they're not they're confident enough to not be insecure by someone checking you out if you guys go out dancing you know what I mean like a real alpha male is is rare and you have that coming in is what I feel a real alpha male or alpha female you you have someone financially stable coming in someone that just will be sure of you and you're I think it's gonna scare you I don't think you're gonna be used to it I think you've been wanting it but I think when it actually comes down to it and you actually have it right in front of your face I think that you're gonna run a little bit I think you're gonna sabotage it a little bit and the thing is that this person is gonna be they're amazing like this person is loyal this person is strong this person is the entire package but the thing is this person also knows what they deserve they've gone through a lot to get to where they are and so if you're playing these games, they're going to recognize that you're playing games. They're going to recognize that you're playing hard to get. And they're, honestly, they're going to see you as a little girl or a little boy. They're, I hate to say it like that. It's, it's, I know it sounds rude, but they're, they're not going to see you as their equal if you're playing these games. Like that works. These games work on um, like men or women with commitment issues people that are kind of just insecure, unsure, those games totally work. But somebody who's had the life experience and just knows that they want a long-term relationship, they want marriage, they want all of it, like those games are not going to work. They're going to recognize that because they're going to have been through that with people in the past and they're they're not going to do it. And I think you're going to expect them to to deal with it and then they're you're going to end up watching your ship sail away here. You know what I mean? You're going to end up watching this this person that the universe brought to you. Because um, like I said, they know what they deserve. So they're going to go a separate way. They just won't put up with it. I hate to say it like that, but that's that's what I feel. They just, they're, you're going to, you play these games and you're going to lose them. And it makes sense. I mean, I understand it. I'm not, and I'm not judging you guys for it. I totally get it. I've been there too. You know, if you get heartbroken enough, it's hard to be vulnerable. But I'm saying if you've got someone coming in offering you everything, don't don't play with that. They're not going to do it. So there's just that warning there that about this energy, the the control, the 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 independence as a self-defense mechanisms is that you're blocking your love, you're blocking your your money, you're blocking your abundance, you're blocking all the things that you're praying for by being in this energy. So your guides are trying to push you out of this energy with this new perspective. Um, and once you have the new perspective, that's what's going to, this merry-go-round you're on right now, it's not getting you anywhere. It's oh, it's getting you to a breakdown, if anything, but it's not getting you anywhere good. But, I, but like I said, the breakdown will ultimately lead to a new perspective because it's like you're being forced to, to have that breakdown, that tower moment, so you can have this new energy come in. 
Um, but this new perspective, like I said, is what's going to lead to to um, this Five of Pentacles reverse, getting out of, of poverty, getting out of this isolation, and also love, too. For some of you, it's like love is what you've been working towards. It could be that you've been working towards love, and you're getting impatient, wondering where your person is, and you're tired of waiting, and then... You know, that perspective of, of it has to be this person or it has to be this way, it has to be this timing is what's kind of going to kind of like bite you in the butt, you know. Um, but yeah, once you get into perspective, you have you have money coming in, you have love coming in, you have all the things you've been asking for. So when this does come in, just don't sabotage it. Don't sabotage it. And you will be in the high priestess energy. You will be in this, you know, this strong, powerful, assertive energy, this, this intuitive energy flowing with the universe instead of going against it yeah queen of cups too Ooh, look at that queen of cups king of cups and resting and having that that period of, of pain be over finally ace of wands see that's the tower that's the tower i was talking about this is like look at this this is your other half this two you know king and queen of cups together Yeah, I feel like in the past, it's like something ended that you didn't want to end. And ever since then, it's like giving you control issues and you're kind of defensive because you're scared of losing. Maybe you lost a King of Pentacles that you didn't want to lose. And it's made you kind of defensive out of fear. And you're thinking you want to manifest this King of Pentacles. But the person for you is actually a King of Cups instead. Could be a water sign and maybe... Um, God, what is Pentacles? I think Pentacles is... Is Pentacles Earth? I think it's Earth. I always get them mixed up. But I think that would be an Earth sign. The world, yep. Good things are coming. Yeah, you're coming out of this Five of Swords energy. And into this Two of Cups, having a love offer come in. So I hope this resonates with you guys. Um, if it does, you know, uh, please comment below, share, subscribe. Um, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It adds up really quickly. Like, I appreciate just my PayPal link is right below. Even just a dollar really does mean a lot to me. Um, and if you want a private reading, just go ahead and send me an email. Thank you for watching.